Hi, Caesar. This is Megan again. I just wanted to send you this quick website audit as promised. I think I spoke with you while you were on vacation. I hope you had a really great one. Um, but in this video, basically what I'm going to go over is uh, just some website tips for you, show you where you're currently ranking, um, where your company is currently ranking, and then um, show you some specifics on how to rank your site and how to beat your competition online. So the three things I'm going to talk to you about today are content, backlinks, and citations. So content is anything on the home page of your site that Google can read. So all the text on the home page, all the text within your images, and whatever your images are saved as. Now, to be considered authority in Google's eyes, you're going to want to have at least 1,500 to 2,000 words on your home page, and you're going to want it to be stuffed with content that has to do with buyer intent. So for you specifically, you'd be looking at things like Electrician El Paso, um, Electrician El Paso, Texas, and other keyword specific phrases along those lines. That way, when anyone types those searches into Google, your website will pop right up with, with that location. Um, so looking at your website, I really like how clean and professional it is. It's easy to navigate. Um, I see that you do have some content on here, right here, and then, you know, spread throughout. I like that you have your contact info over here and then this lead form. Um, that's always really great. Something that I would add to the homepage here, maybe right above contact us, is testimonials. So testimonials are just a huge plus um, for any clients who are on the fence or just kind of wondering what your company is about. It's always great to have, you know, clients, past experiences displayed there so that they can see how great you guys are and hopefully hire you for uh, the services that they're needing. So um, I also uh, would say that the main thing you're going to want to do on your homepage is get to that 1500 word mark as far as content goes. So um, the standard rule of thumb that we tell our clients is one keyword phrase for every 100 to 150 words is what you'll want to strive for here. So anywhere from 10 to 13 keywords spread organically throughout the content and the paragraphs on the homepage. If you get to that 1500 word mark, that would be a good number to strive for there. Um, and then I see that you have service pages here and you discuss, you know, what you guys do on these, so medical facilities. So um, as far as service pages go, we recommend 500 words of content, and then we apply the same rule of thumb here. So anywhere from you know three to four keyword phrases spread organically throughout this content. That way, if anybody was looking um, for an emergency electrician in medical facilities, they could type that into Google in El Paso, and you guys, this back page would pop right up and they'd end up getting to your website that way. So um, that is a suggestion as far as your service pages go. Uh, and then the rest of your website looks pretty good. It's very easy to navigate and professional. So um, those are my basic tips for you on that. The next thing I wanna talk with you about today is, is um, I'm sorry, backlinks. So the thing with Google is it can be like a popularity contest, really, in a way, because they judge you by how many websites are pointing back at you. Now, very important to remember that not all backlinks are created equal. So what that means is you're going to gain a lot more influence from a backlink that is related to your industry. So for example, an electrician blog that mentions your company would be a good one for you. Or a popular website that features various types of home services and features electrical services, that would be another good one for you. So something that has to do with the services you offer, you're going to have much more influence given to you from that type of backlink versus a backlink from, let's say, your local Domino's Pizza. So a tool I use to measure backlinks is called Arifs. So here's Arifs up here. I put your website in, and it looks like you guys have 10 backlinks right now from four different websites pointing back at you, and then you have zero for your organic traffic. So that tells me that you have minimal to no um, traffic coming into your website per month. This is based off of a 30-day period. So in the last 30 days, you've had zero website visits. Now, um, you're missing out on a lot of new customers because you're not getting that traffic coming into your website. So when I put in one of uh, your top competitors in the area, Tovar, 
electrical, it looks like. I think it's actually called Liza's Tovar Electrical, um, or Liza's Tovar Electric, excuse me. They have 136 backlinks and 62 for their organic traffic. So I'm sure that out of 62 website visits, at least some of those converted to new customers for them. So a strategy we tell our clients to use to get that same kind of influence and power as their competitors is to go in and get the same backlinks as they have and then continue to keep adding on more and more. So you'll end up surpassing them while gaining more power to your site, more organic traffic, and of course a lot more customers will come with that. So. The last thing I want to tell you about today is citations. So citations are very important because if someone wants a service now, most likely what they'll do is they'll go to Google and type the service in, and then they'll see these top three businesses pop up in the Google My Business local map pack, as it's called here. So uh, a lot of people see these as the most reputable people to go with in the area, you know, because they, they're ranked at the top and they think, uh, you know, they have ratings, they have reviews. So why wouldn't you give them a call and, you know, see if, if you can schedule with them? But the reason why these people are at the top um, is not necessarily because they're the very best. It's because they have the most citations. So citations are anywhere on the internet where your business name, phone number, and address are listed in different directories like Yelp, Facebook, Yellow Pages, to name a few. So again, what we tell our clients, same type of strategy that we use with backlinks. You go in and whatever directories your competition is being listed in, you list yourself in those exact same directories and then add on a space cushion of let's say 20 to 30% more directories than your competition. Over time, what's gonna end up happening is you'll end up infiltrating this Google My Business local map pack. You'll be ranking at the top, and before your competitors can even realize it, they won't be able to keep up with you because you'll just keep adding on more backlinks, more citations, and taking on all of that new business. So here is my website. This is my company, Loba Leads, and this is my phone number. And if you have any questions after watching the video, I'd be happy to answer those, or if you have any feedback for me, that is always very appreciated. So I hope this video was helpful for you, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.